But you state at the top of the page, or at least it appears to that you state, my job here is to pass along information to Bob. Do you recall saying that, sir? Looking yes. At the top. Okay. And Bob, of course, is Bob Dylan. Yes. And then you say, which I think I have. Do you see that, sir? Yes. Did you say that? Yes. Okay. When you said that to Mr. Damiano, which I think I have, were you lying to him? I was, I was, I was... Do you recall ever giving Mr. Damiano your fax number? Yes. And when you need to reach Mr. Dillon, how do you reach him? I phone him. At his home? If he's in Los Angeles, yes. If he's on the road, I try and locate him that way. Okay. And it says, by Catherine Baker, Associated Press writer, Beverly Hills, California. Are you that Catherine Baker? Yes. period, unquote. Did Mr. Dillon say those words? Yes. You then continue without quotes. The other reason for the others is inevitable, colon. He didn't, that's D-I-D and apostrophe T, as in did not, he didn't have enough material of his own for an album, period, un period. Did Mr. Dillon say those words? I went back in the transcript and I was paraphrasing him and that's not entirely accurate. He said he didn't have enough songs that he wanted to put on an album. And as you know, you're here today concerning an interview that you conducted with Mr. Dillon. You right. understand that? And when was that interview conducted, ma'am? Um, August 5th, 1988. Okay. And in preparation for today's appearance here, did you uh, review any notes? Yes, I, I reviewed the transcript of the tape. Okay. And does a tape recording exist? Yes. Period, unquote. Did Mr. Dillon say those words? Yes. You then continue without quotes. The other reason for the others is inevitable, colon. He didn't, that's D-I-D and apostrophe T, as in did not, he didn't have enough material of his own for an album, period, un period. Did Mr. Dillon say those words? I went back in the transcript and I was paraphrasing him and that's not entirely accurate. He said he didn't have enough songs that he wanted to put on an album.
course, the newspapers put their own headline on the story. Sure. I'm not sure what the headline we put on it was. And it says, by Catherine Baker, Associated Press writer, Beverly Hills, California. Are you that Catherine Baker? Yes. I mean, we just found out documents were destroyed. So please, get off your before high horse. Lawsuit, get off your the, high horse, Before please. the lawsuit was filed, thank you. Blank pieces of paper. Not before blank, the lawsuit not was blank filed. pieces of paper. Pick documents that he's contending were illegible. And what are you saying right we're now? Not blank. concert if we may to the time when you offered the tickets to Mr. Damiano before the concert actually took place okay during that point in time when you offered the tickets to him and before he actually went to the concert did you ever say to him or suggest to him that maybe he should bring some of his songs with him? No, I did not. Any... Right. Do you deny saying that, or is it you just don't recall one way or the other? I deny suggesting to Jim that he bring songs along with him. I, I did, however, concur with him when he asked me, do you think I should bring my songs with me? I said, sure, why not? What could it hurt? Not many times, but on those occasions when he would ask me, could I pass on something to Mr. Dillon? I may have said to him, I'll try and pass it along. Or words to that effect.